Hey, we're indoors here at World Dairy Expo 2017 with one of my favorite stops, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Remember, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board is funded entirely by Wisconsin Dairy Farmers Checkoff Dollars. That means for every pound of milk that they sell, a portion of the proceeds goes into a kitty that's all designed to further the research on Wisconsin dairy products, dairy promotion, dairy research, and consumer education. And we're going to do it all right here. We're inside the Align Energy Center trade show in uh, the atrium area, so come on by. Joined today by a master cheesemaker. Now let me explain to you, if you're unaware, master cheesemakers in Wisconsin, and we're the only state that has this program. Uh, it is a strenuous program that uh, cheesemakers can enroll in around the state. Now Brian Jackson is from the Nasonville Dairy up in the central portion of Wisconsin, and you're a master cheesemaker of how many varieties? Uh, six different varieties, uh, Cheddar, Monterey Jack, Colby, uh, Munster, Brick, and Gouda. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this process. First of all, did you decide that on the varieties, or did your uh, associates help you decide on the varieties you wanted to be a master cheesemaker on? Uh, that was a combination of everything yep. there, yeah. Yep. They just knew, you know, you have to try and get better at everything you're doing, and that's what I want to do is be one of the best. And it's not a pushover kind of thing. Listen, people, if you think this is something you write a check and you become a master cheesemaker, you are far from the truth. Explain the, i got to say, arduous process. Yeah. Well, there's years of experience you have to get. Uh, then you have to have a license for at least 10 years. Then a number of different courses that you have to get go through and pass mm -hmm. and after that you apply to the the board mm -hmm. and they'll come and interview you once sure. you're accepted by the board to enter the program you'll uh, go through a three-year program and you can take up the two types per yeah. per three three-year course at the end of this three years you'll have to take a final test and that final test will take you roughly 40 45 hours of finishing <laughs> So, <laughs> and it's yes. open book and it's still that long. Yeah, it's not easy, <laughs> but it's worth it. We've made Brian uh, not be quite too uh, descriptive on how tough the test was. And then when you uh, finish that, you're kind of in rarefied air if you can't see the numbers behind us. According to the Wisconsin Cheesemakers, in Wisconsin we've got 64 master cheesemakers like Brian here that have taken the time, gone through the coursework, gone through all of the you know plant inspections and so forth to bring us this fantastic cheese. What happens next? Does everything that you produce then have a master cheesemaker stamp on it? Not everything, just the ones that we're certified in. I'm one of three masters that Nasonville has. Really? And uh, the total, I think we got 14 different stamps that we can use. Really? Really? Yes. And do you see consumers coming in and asking about that? Do you try to help them understand how important, how, how prestigious the master cheesemaker is? Yeah, we have we have uh, customers out there that require that we have the stamps mm. and, and they advertise that we sell it throughout the nation. Yes, it is required. And do you ever find anybody from outside Wisconsin that wants to come in and try to gain this accreditation? Yeah, we, we have actually, I think there's one person down in Missouri right now that takes uh, Sneaky, sneaky yeah. fellas. And they're, and they're pushing, well, I just shouldn't say they're they're being sneaky. They're pushing right. our product because it's made by oh, Master yeah. Cheesemakers. Yes. So that's really what we're talking about here at the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board is how they're channeling checkoff dollars to try to find value added on all of our dairy products, whether it's cheese, whether it's butter, whether it's our fluid milk products, and we do a great job with that. Like we said, Master Cheesemakers, there's only 64 of them in the state of Wisconsin. Wisconsin is the only state to have this kind of program. Are you glad you did it? Oh yeah, I'd do it again. Are you, are you thinking about any more? Not right at this point. I just finished up my last one in 2016, so oh. I'm going to take a break a couple <laughs> years. <laughs> Is there, are there any new varieties or anything new that you guys at Nasonville are working on? See, that's the other thing. I was teasing the Center for Dairy Research. We talked to them off, and they're all so supported by checkoff dollars. And this great quest for cheesemakers to try to find a low-salt cheese that's still got taste. Sounds like it is just the bane of you guys' existence to try to do. Yeah, we're always trying something new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. every, every day, every week, we're trying something new. Yeah. We're looking into something, you know, yeah. that, what's going to be the, the next niche. Where, yeah. And they lean on the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board for that very information and the guidance that you may see in a grocery store sometime near you. Brian Jackson from Nasonville Dairy up uh, near the Marshfield area. He is our featured master cheesemaker here at the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board booth at World Dairy Expo 2017. I'm Farm Director Pam Yankee.